Hey everybody, Bormac here for the second game in the uh, Lava Mine Business Strategy Game uh, Trilogy. This one is called Zapitalism, and it takes place on an island. This island right here, and this is the money you'll be earning, and the color scheme changed for some reason. Whatever. <laughs> anyway... I'm going to be playing some Zapitalism, probably a little longer than I played Gazillionaire. It's uh, not quite, it's a little more complex, and I'm not as good at it, and I kind of like it more. <laughs> well, I've already played a few games to get the hang of it, and I lost uh, most of them. I was winning one, and then I accidentally clicked on a bookmark. I, uh got rid of the bookmark as the bookmarks bar so that won't be a problem this time also the mouse is flickering that's gonna get annoying why did the color scheme change give me a second well I did that but the mouse is still going weird not sure why it's doing that must be something to do with just recording this that'll be fun well, get used to that. We're going to be playing on beginner with, and it did it again. Thank you, Windows. You're a piece of crap. Let's play with one player. All right. These are the companies we can play. We get to choose now. This is one company. Tibby is looking to hire a store manager to run her newly established import shop. Tibby would like a pleasant, charmingly decorated store filled with personal and knickknacks, fresh flowers, and hand-painted signs. No ambition to be the biggest store on the block, just a nice, friendly place where the customers can feel at home. Grow her business by building up a loyal customer base and a solid position within the community, and her special ability is... This stuff. There's a lot of reading to do for these guys. Tibby can do no wrong as far as, far as the general public is concerned. Everyone agrees that Tibby is the sweetest, most good-natured... Shop owner in Zappinalia. In fact, people come by Tibby's Boutique all the time to help her out, donating supplies, materials, and services. That is why Tibby can spend less than her competitors on store image maintenance and public service. In this way, Tibby's wonderful personality and good attitude give her an advantage over the competition. No. It's also the first bar, uh, part where music comes into play. Spinnaker discount? Spinnaker discount is the brainchild of Wally J. Spinnaker, a slick salesman who wouldn't hesitate to sell you his own mother if you offered him the right price. Spinnaker is looking to hire an ambitious, fast-talking, fast-walking salesperson to take his newly established store into the big time. Spinnaker sees himself as a mover and a groover, one cool dude with an attitude. He wants his store to be the low-priced leader, to cut corners and to mass merchandise. Spinnaker's strategy is no frills, small bills, stay low, sell below. You want it this store? What's his special ability? He's a marketing genius. He'll do anything to make a sale. Spinnaker is constantly dreaming new ways of advertising campaigns, promotions, and marketing slogans. Because of Spinnaker's innovative approach, he gets a 100% bonus on advertising. In fact, doubling his ad spend. This way, you can spend considerably less money, capture a larger market share, and bring in more customers than his competition. Nah, uh, let's check out them all. Sounds like fun. What about Meister Mart? Meister Mart is under the command of Bun Meister the Great. Bun Meister's approach, rabbit, to running his business is conducting. It's like conducting a military operation. Bun Meister sees herself as uh, the general, her employees as the troops, and the competition as the enemy. But either way, George Bun Meister is looking to hire a captain to lead her forces to victory. Like any military organization, Bun Meister requires everyone to wear uniforms, follow orders, and pledge absolute allegiance to the company. Strategy is to invest, organize, and conquer. What do they do? Uh, runs a tight ship. Everything is so well planned, there is no room for mistakes. Keeps a vigilant eye on all details and won't hesitate to court martial any employee found slacking. That's why Bun Meister never has delays or cost overruns when building a new larger store. And if its construction company also routinely offers Bun Meister a 50% discount on construction costs, which gives Bun Meister a definite edge over the competition when it comes to expanding her business empire. 
That's pretty nice, but no, because we're not done reading. What about the Briggs Brothers? Briggs Brothers Limited was the dream of Ig and Ag Briggs, two hardworking brothers from the Raka slums. Since Ig died a year ago, Ag struggled alone to obtain a store license from Queen Keshi Keshi Gomu. Having finally secured a license, Ag Briggs is looking to take on a partner to transform his dream store into a reality. Ag Briggs always feels at a disadvantage because of his background, and often tries overly hard to impress people with his achievements. His greatest fear is to lose everything and have to return to the Raka slums. What does he do? He grew up in an impoverished neighborhood and understands how it feels to struggle to make a living. That's why Ag Briggs treats his employees if, if they are family. Because Briggs' unique management style, he's earned the devotion and trust of his workers. Even if staff get upset over lower pay or some other problem, they quickly come back to support Briggs. This means Briggs can spend less on employees and still maintain a dedicated workforce. Eh. Sometimes it lags when I click on a button, too, which is kind of weird. But there it goes. What about Hoffman? Hoffmani. Oh my, look at that mustache. Hoffman's Emporium is owned by Fanano Hoffman, a one-time women's hairpin designer and fettuccine exporter. Uh-huh. Hoffman's dream has always been to have the most elegant, classy, fashionable store in all of Zappalania. Hoffman's looking to hire a CEO to handle the business end of things while he entertains and dances the rumba with his eccentric friends. Hoffman spends 90% of his time throwing one extravaganza after another, whining and dining everyone from wholesalers to bond brokers to the queen herself. What does he do? He's a born entertainer and loves to have a good time. That's why he can travel for free anywhere in the archipelago. All the sailors know Hoffman can turn a dull voyage into a party cruise. In fact, ships compete just to have the honor of transporting him. This gives Hoffman a nice edge when it comes to exploring the various islands. That's pretty handy, but we still got one to look at. Grunion. The Grunion Company is owned by evil Madame Grunion. Madame Grunion, who is rumored to have married and then killed her husband for his money, now lives in the basement of her newly built store and eats only cherry red earthworms, which she believes gives her magical powers. Madame Grunion is looking to hire a big bad boss to run the shop while she dreams of new ways to destroy her competitors. At one time or another, she has, always, she has tried everything from extortion to blackmail to sabotage. She wants to know if you would like to help her build a truly evil business empire. What does she do? Uh, Grunion hates to give away anything, if it doesn't benefit her in some way. And the thing she hates most of all is taxes. After all, why should she give her precious money back to the community? What will that get her? So she's devised an elaborate system of tax shelters, loopholes, and other tricks to avoid paying taxes. This way she can usually obtain a sizable tax refund whenever the tax collector comes around. Madame Grunion's evil tricks also enable her her to get a 10% bonus to all bidding whenever she places a bid for a building permit import or import rights. Her bids appear 10% higher than what she will actually pay. Seeky tactics like these give Grunion a nasty advantage over her opponents. And that's true. I think Grunion has the uh, most advantageous advantages. Just a second. Go back here because I can kind of see the border of the screen thanks to Grunion's uh, checkerboard there. <laughs> Kinda. There we go. No. I think I want to try Hoffman. Because uh, travel can get pretty expensive. And I mean, look at that mustache. He's a peanut with a mustache. It's Mr. Peanut. With uh, rose tinted glasses. Sure. The first company to reach uh, five uh, million zabbles wins this round. The final winning point is ten billion. Hey, the window got bigger. Darn. Okay. The wholesaler is given the priority of the stores that he feels has the highest growth potential. Yep, we always have uh, that at the beginning. You get to buy first. This is the wholesaler. This is where you buy stuff. There are no different planets this time or different places where you can buy. You always buy from the royal wholesaler. Things to keep in mind. The demand. That's how much people want the stuff that are going to go on your shelves. They don't really want that stuff. 
They kind of want that. They want that. Since I'm buying first, nobody has anything else stocked. Flannel fungus. I should get that, I think. Oh, wait, no. This is a much higher profit potential. I can't afford a f full thing, so let's go get a loan! I will borrow some cash. Lower. That's lower? Half? Dude. How about just that? Thanks. Alright, now we can explore the island! There are lots of places you can go, and lots of information, too. Information. You can click on any of these places and get some info about the island. And those are the places you can actually visit and do stuff. Let's get some information first. We'll read a little and then we'll do something. How about the Lake District? The Apollonia Lake District is home to the butter frogs, flying amphibians which migrate to Zeppelinia every summer to mate. They are called butter frogs because they have a distinct smell of rancid butter. Yay! Huge swarms of these amphibians are notorious for making wild croaking sounds as they perform their yearly reproductive activities. A few weeks later, female butter frogs lay thousands of eggs in the lakes. Local fishermen ru then rush to harvest these eggs before they hatch. The eggs are thought to be an aphrodisiac, and Zeppelinians are willing to pay big zabbles, despite the awful taste of rancid butter. Animal Rights Action Committee is pressing the Queen to establish regulations to protect the butter frogs before they are entirely wiped out. Probably a good idea. Now, special places. Let's visit uh, this one. The catacombs. There are two theories concerning concerning the catacombs. Some speculate they are the remains of a giant tombs from the ancient civilization of Myrmidon, which once dominated the entire archipelago. Others believe that there, thousands of years ago, aliens from a distant planet crashed landed on Zappalania and created the catacombs to house their dead. Whatever the case, the catacombs are an unusual place full of surprises. If you are adventurous type, they will keep you quite busy. Are you interested in exploring? Sure. During your exploration of the catacombs, you come across a blue and green ball of wax. It doesn't look like anything found naturally on the island, so you take it to the Wizard Research Center. They tell you it's nothing but wax. Despite this, you receive a number of offers from various collectors and wind up selling the wax for 57,000 zabbles. Neat. And we can only visit one place a day. Er, yeah, a day. But there's something else we can do. We can send our uh, CEO off exploring. And since we're on this uh, particular company, it's free to go anywhere. Which is nice because this can get really expensive really fast. Let's set sail for the Mud Dogglers. What are the Mud Dogglers? That place. What about the news? At a press conference held at his home, Eagle Spun, last year's Mofty Ball champion, said he thinks Eco Rash is a good player, but doesn't stand a chance to win this year's Royal Tournament. Eagle Spun's home is shown on the left. Okie dokie. Insurance? How do they do that with stone? That's pretty pricey. Well, I don't think there's anything else we need to do this turn. Oh, wait, no. We do need to place an ad. Fifteen thousand. And... Uh, Seven hundred fifty, how about... Eight hundred... Seventy-five. That'll help. Oh my, we started with a 70% store reputation. That's probably because we uh, found that ball of wax. There we go. That'll improve our reputation. I think that's all I need to do. Because our shelves are full of snuggots. What are snuggots, by the way? Snuggots are chunks of rock that contain an enormous amount of electromagnetic energy. They come from huge slabs of polarized bro stone deep below the Earth's surface. 
They are mined at the magma zone, then broken up into everything from tiny wafers, small enough to fit into a nose radio, to large blocks used to power microwave antennas. Today's, today, most electronics use some form of Snugot as their primary power supply. Snugots tend to last for several months before they run dry. Once they die, Zeppeliniums use them as paperweights, golf balls, and ship anchors. They also make wonderful tasting tea if placed in a pot of boiling water. Handy. Not sure what uh, is going on with the uh, lag, though. I feel like I can... Close this a little. Alright. There we go. Well, let's end the turn and see what happens. Every week, Berg automatically adjusts your balance, uses your cash reserve to pay off your outstanding loan so you will not have to pay much interest this week. Yep, he automatically takes your money and siphons it off. Jump. And... We are in second place. The best reputation at the beginning of this week, huh? Well, we're number one again. Thank you, import store. Oh my goodness. Look at all that money. Humble something about how difficult it is for a foreigner to come and do something good in just a short, short time. You do something good at the mud dogglers? Why is that? Mud dugglers are the poorest creatures in all the archipelago of Myrmidon. They subsist on mud crackers and vinegar. Their homes are nothing more than mud huts, which get washed away every time heavy rains hit the island. The mud dugglers have often been encouraged to leave their miserable little habitat, but they are so stubborn and fiercely independent that they refuse to move. If you feel in a generous mood, you can always send Hoffman to help these poor creatures and perhaps boost your reputation as a kind-hearted company in the process. We can do that, but uh, we can't do that today. We're only going to Outer Reboundrum or the Zabel Exchange. Well, let's check out this. That's pretty expensive. I don't think I'm going to be going to the Zabel Exchange. So let's go to Outer Reboundrum. Tell me about it. Outer Reboundrum is on the far reaches of the archipelago of Myrmidon. It is a mysterious land which holds all sorts of surprises. Most people are afraid to venture near Outer Rabindrum because of its wild and unpredictable reputation. For instance, the notorious uh, Piccadillo babies inhabit the island and have been known to hold intruders hostage while feeding them only raw daca meat. This aside, there are many treasures and riches to be found if one is lucky enough to turn alive. Well, let's see if you're lucky. We seem to be lucky. That doesn't actually factor in. Reputation going up. Employee mood going up. We did not sell all these things. Uh, let's check it out. We're selling for 1950 They're undercutting us. They're undercutting us. They're over... Let's see, the lowest price is t Tibby's. I will adjust my price. For a flat 1,000. And uh, max it out again. Not a lot to do while it's uh, lagging. <laughs> I'm not sure why it does that. I think it has something to do with my slow connection, but... Uh, when it starts doing that, I think I'll start pausing. Like now. Okay. Now, we can explore again. Let's look at another other place. What is this? The gizzard breeding grounds, huh? The gizzard is a spiny spider-like insect with long manacles and thousands of eyes. It's a popular Zappelinian household pet. However, nobody would think of cuddling or even petting their gizzard. Instead, they place their gizzard below the floorboards of their house and let it roam around eating termites. Because most homes in Zappelinia are constructed of uh, lumberfish, termites have become a big problem in recent years, which is why the gizzard is in more demand than ever. And most pet stores now stock them. Neat. Let's hide other places and visit a special place. How about 